everyone, and welcome into this Friday edition of Weather Underground. I'm Mike Bettis. And I'm Alex Wilson. For many people, this weekend cooks off the long holiday week leading up to the 4th of July. So if you're home already, you cracked nice. open your beer, congrats. <laughs> Lots of outdoor activities planned. And we have severe weather and dangerous heat threatening people. So something to keep in mind. Definitely for sure. And it is vitally important to not underestimate the danger of summer heat. We begin with new video showing the moments an Owasso, Oklahoma police officer rescued a baby from a hot car earlier this week. The beaches and, of course, in the city. A lot going on in New York City. We've got pride happening and hottest temp so far this year for New York has been 89 yesterday. Did we get to 90 today? I got to check on that. Uh, Saturday, we're forecasting a temp of near 90 again. We'll drop it down on Sunday. So low 80s Sunday, 86 on Monday. So a, a little bit of a mix of both. Uh, we get you to your temperatures right now. 83 Buffalo, 84 in Binghamton, 86 in New York, 87 Pittsburgh, low 90s in D.C. So it's a steamy end to the week, and, and we're going to keep that heat going high into tomorrow. Look at uh, Washington, D.C., mid-90s for you, 86 in Pittsburgh, mid and upper 70s in Binghamton and Buffalo, Burlington in the low 80s. So those highs keep you anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees above average as we get into our Saturday. So if you are staying in town uh, in the city for any of uh, your holiday weekend plans Boston New York and DC will also be feeling the heat uh, the pools will be crowded uh, I'm sure there's some like rooftop pools in, in one of those locations they're like the hot spots right they're everywhere uh, Richmond Virginia high of 97 with a dew point of 64 means your heat index or your feels like temperature 99 degrees Baltimore 67 the dew point uh, that's getting up there high in the upper 90s feels like temperature well into the triple digits in Atlantic City, New Jersey, 94 tomorrow with a 40% chance of rain. So we got to watch the afternoon, early evening hours, especially for the best chance of wet weather. We head up the shore out on a Long Island, Long Beach, 79 with a 40% chance of rain there as well, guys. For severe weather today, well, you got to go way up to the northern tier. We're talking portions of Montana. Our our spirits are, are messed up or are like our beings. What do you do when you do yoga? Like you get in touch with your self your <laughs> chakras your chakras my chakras. chakras are confused right now i just hey, know it hurts my hamstring there you go we appreciate you staying with us here on weather underground on this friday i'm alex wilson i'm mike bettis loose hamstrings tight hamstrings yeah. i don't know about yours folks but glad you could be with us somewhere let's in the middle maybe maybe somewhere in the middle uh let's take you to new york's times fire so of course something to uh be concerned about this time of year still to come on weather underground dr nab is back to break down what signs sh uh the show that the basins and thanks for being with us tonight. This is Weather Underground. I'm Mike Bettis. And I'm Alex Wilson. For many people, this weekend kicks off the long holiday week leading up to the 4th of July. A lot of outdoor activities planned, a lot of grilling materials purchased, and we've got some severe weather and some big heat that we want to make sure you're aware of. Absolutely, and it's really vitally important to not underestimate the danger of summer heat. We're ready to begin the show with new video showing the moments an Owasso, Oklahoma police officer rescued a baby from a hot car earlier this week. Mm -hmm. We often see that daytime heating yep. fires up the storms. Once the sun sets, they go down. Yeah, it's always like your pool or golf time is the most at risk. That uh, what, like 2 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then things get a little better. Uh, tomorrow, that's going to be the key across parts of the Gulf Coast and over Florida. Uh, generally, it's afternoon showers and thunderstorms you've got to watch for on Saturday. Sunday, more of the same. Watching just about all of Florida as well as portions of the southeast, the mid-south, even over into portions of Texas, uh, southern Arkansas, and southeastern Oklahoma. Oklahoma. By Monday, a lot of the attention will be over Florida as far as the focus for shower and thunderstorm development. So uh, be prepared, you know, uh, have that indoor backup plan. You know, if you're going to go out and, and play some golf, know where the clubhouse is should the thunderstorms fire up. In Houston, Saturday, Sunday, chance of thunderstorms. Uh, Monday, I think, will be dry. Thunderstorms back in the picture on Tuesday, but barely hit or miss on many of those days. So it doesn't mean you're going to get a shower or thunderstorm every day, but but you will see them scattered about on the radar and maybe see one over your area. Miami, Saturday and Sunday, hit or miss thunderstorms. Think a little better chance, more coverage coming into play on Monday and Tuesday of next week. Mike? A lot of folks want to be out there and just enjoy it if they can, dodge the yeah. thunderstorms. If you're paying close attention to the, to the radar, you can. You'll do that later tomorrow evening. So going out maybe for a late show or something like that, I think it's drier weather for you there in, uh, in New York. All right, so there you have it. Uh, Maybe late plans. Uh, you can't ever convince me to go out late, but I mean, in New York, it's everything's nice open. Under 
the advisories. Well, a lot of places. Pierce, Sioux Falls, Omaha, Topeka, Kansas City, and Des Moines, Minneapolis, actually under an excessive heat watch. These in effect through tomorrow. So we are watching for uh, dangerous heat and humidity that makes it uncomfortable and also potentially harmful to be outside for long periods of time. North Platte tomorrow, your high 100 degrees, Sioux Falls 95 and Minneapolis will go 92. All of those cities 10 to 15 degrees higher than their typical average this time of year. A place like Minneapolis with a high of 92 inside a car Obviously, that's not running after just 10 minutes, 111 inside that vehicle, 126 degrees after 30 minutes. In New Orleans, a high of 87. You're thinking, oh, gosh, it's only in the 80s. I'll put the windows down. But that doesn't do much. And inside the car after just 10 minutes, 106 degrees. So, so important to look before you lock. Never leave children in the car. Never leave pets in the car for just a few minutes. Those temperatures inside heat up so quickly in a short period of time. 94 degrees tomorrow or Wednesday, next Wednesday in Chattanooga with a 70 degree dew point. This is downright oppressive. That's a 100 degree heat index. There's your... Uh, there's your um, equation for that. And uh, a 97 degree high in Charleston, 70 degree dew point, makes it feel like 104. That's what you got headed into July 3rd. And by next Wednesday, we could be looking at possible record territory for places like Jacksonville, Augusta, Charleston, and Wilmington. There's fireworks for you, Mike. Not the fireworks I want, though. No. no. Uh, listen, we want things to go oh. boom. In the night, when it comes to your Fourth of July, one thing to just go sweat. Well, that's, that's going to be millions that's of Americans. Be a lot of us. Yeah. Unfortunately, that happens every single Fourth of July. During the shit. summer, I feel like that's a nice one. What? Why are you laughing at me? Don't tell people to drink alcohol in the oh, heat. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, I like water. <laughs> that was. It was so genuine. Water is my I other favorite that. drink. That was from the heart, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was from the heart. I would recommend water this holiday <laughs> but i also don't go out in the heat so i can so i guess you're okay yeah so you're so i can have my glass of rose, rose in, in my ac uh, I if i were to go outside well you know then i just Alex complain. basically lives in a in a cooler <laughs> i do <laughs> it's one of those i'm like a cryogenically like frozen a, human <laughs> a stand-up cooler is what yeah. her house is we tuck me in at night and i go back to <laughs> <laughs> we are oh. Off. Said like, this is somewhat common. That's the They're harmless. Nightmares. They are truly harmless. They don't bite. Nothing. Um, so. so we're owned by Entertainment Studios. I feel like this is a movie idea that I need to pitch to my like bosses. That, Swarm like, of the Mayflies. Swarm of the Mayflies. Yeah. But like they're bad. Like, <laughs> the mean they are like, yeah, but like, these like got, the invasion like, of the ladybug well like these got like they got like a nuclear reactor or something oh. that made them like really big oh, and really right. bad so they're like Hold on. If somebody at home is writing this idea down, I got to stop I have a feeling that it. this movie's already been made. <laughs> probably. <laughs> it was Some probably called movie The somewhere. Fly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we appreciate you staying with us here on Weather Underground for our bad movie ideas and all. I'm Alex Wilson. I am Mike. Well, be sure to join us on Sunday on the Weather Channel for a new episode of Hellfire Heroes. Now, this week, the fire danger takes on many forms, and the team is literally on the edge. Here's your first look. I was like, oh, we got Ben there. is totally messing with you. We got there. Yeah. Let's crack it's, open a six-pack. It's Friday. Yes, we've got to uh, crack open a six-pack. But for us, it has to be weather videos because we're does. still on the clock. We, it does. All right, so our top six weather videos of the week. Let's start with number six, and you're voting for number one tonight. Let's we'll do it with this show in any way, shape, or form. Touche. <laughs> All right, our top two videos. We put it to a vote on Twitter. You're voting for number one, and the two videos were uh, two twisters. Yes.